when they say they don't make them like they used to, Robert, I think you did, and then some, with this picture. You've made a, a real, it's a compelling movie that I think appeals to contemporary audiences, but it's a real throwback to the kinds of movies they used to make in Hollywood. Uh, what was your intention here? This is a true story, I guess, or based on a true story. Yeah, I believe it's based on a true story, um, um, loosely based. Um, but um, no, my intention was, just, you know, I was just inspired by the screenplay. You know, I mean, I read the screenplay, you know, Stephen Knight's you know, beautiful screenplay, and, um, you know, that's that's what, uh, you know, the, sort of the style of the movie just um, was inspired by that. It came off the page. It's in Casablanca. It's got all those exotic locations, London during the war. Uh, it's very difficult to recreate that. You can't really find those kind of locations. How did you shoot this? <clears throat> well, it's, uh, uh, well, we... We have the wonderful digital tools now, so we can uh, we can create um, you know set extensions and sand dunes and um, all that stuff digitally now. So uh, that's how we did most of it. Uh, Brad, I, I love this character, Max. I mean, it must have been just a gift when you got the script and, and read this because he's such an interesting guy. Uh, and uh, what attracted you to the idea here of playing Max in this period of time? Um, well, originally I met Steve and Knight. We, we had met a long time ago when I was doing a little zombie movie. And he was telling me this story. That would be World War Z. That would be that one. <laughs> and he was uh, telling me this story that, uh, that going to write this thing. So it's something I, I, I stayed close with and paid attention to. We stayed in, in, uh, in uh, communication about. And he, he, uh, and he put the script together. Him and with, with Graham King supporting him, he put the script together relatively quickly. And before I knew it, Mr. Zemeckis was on board. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I want to I say something about how this film was shot because they're real fun for us. I mean, usually it's trucks going to locations. And, but this, because of I had the, the style and temperature and, uh, of the film, and Bob's, you know, was at the forefront of technology. We shot this like, it was like a throwback to the old 40s films where you see people in cars and you see the rear screen and you know they're just sitting on a set doing this. It was a lot, it was a, actually a lot of that done in the sound stage um, and seamlessly blended and that was a really, really fun experience for us to do and I don't think um, it lent itself to this story particularly well and I don't think we would have got to do that without, you know, Bob at the forefront of this. I, I actually had no idea when I was watching it that it was mostly shot on a sound stage. The outside sequences and everything, the rain, all of that. It looks so authentic. I mean, it really is amazing what you can do today. To, you know, some of those old 40s movies you're referring to, you can tell they were shot on the back lot somewhere. Warner Brothers, not this one. Yeah, no, you know, the trick was to make it feel like we were making a 40s movie, but make it look completely photo real. Using today's. Uh, today's uh, technology. So what was it like getting to work with Marion Cotillard, uh, who I, I just told you, I mean, the, um, in, case, in case you don't know it, the camera loves you. And <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> is this a, a role that you were born to play? I mean, do you feel that, that this is something that you had to play? Um, you know, I, I was lucky enough to, I've been lucky enough to explore many genres, um, many, um, many different universe um, of directors, and, um, and this one is very particular for me because I, I never, I never had this like princess's dreams when I was a kid. I really wanted to be an actress, but this is kind of my princess dream as, as a kid coming true because I was dreaming in front of those old movies. I was a big fan of Audrey Hepburn and Greta Garbo and all the glamour of this uh, era. I, I can absolutely see that, and I would throw in the name Ingrid Bergman too, I, unto that yeah. mix. There's a, a scene uh, where you're wearing a hat 
there that uh, could be Audrey Hepburn, could be Ingrid Bergman, you know, a great costume design in, in this movie. What was it like to get into these kinds of outfits? And We had many fittings for this movie because most of the, the, um, the outfits were made on, on us. And uh, that was a great joy to go there each time because to discover what they had with uh, Joanna Johnson, what they had uh, thought about, what they had dreamt about for this character. And so, in a way, for me, it was very, very exciting. Um, yeah, you can applaud the costumes. And while you're at it, applaud the production design, too, because that's pretty damn good, too. <laughs> and the cinematography, and the and, editing, and, and the and the score is you know I had an amazing team of uh, of uh, our longtime collaborators and they did a fantastic job. You, you like know? you've you've worked with the same people for a long time now. You have your own little group here yeah. that and you you obviously are comfortable with that and and it's worked oh, out. Yeah. When you have a a shorthand with uh, your key you know, your key um, artists that you're working with, it just is great because um, we, we kind of know what what we're thinking and, and, and things move a lot more efficiently and we get, we, and, we, and we do stuff that I think is, um, is uh, always striving to be inspired. Um, I gotta, now, Marianne, everyone knows you're French, you know you're French, you speak French. <laughs> We believed you speaking yeah, French. <laughs> Brad, I never knew you could speak French that well. My French Can was you? smoking. <laughs> Admit it. It was perfect. But it was a very particular, it's a very particular kind of accent and kind of, you know, you're, you're a Canadian in this, and so you're speaking like out of Quebec, basically, a kind of Quebec French here, right? Exactly. Okay. So... Yes. We, 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 we had hours, hours of conversation about the specifics of the, the French accent. It's, um, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how many hours we, we had talking about that. Because you're working opposite a, a great French star who's, you know, it's going to be tested here once this gets to France. Yeah, I started on her English. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, uh, um, talk about the uh, supporting cast here. You know, this is beautifully cast down the line here. Jared Harris. Jared, who, yeah. Yeah. Um, how'd you put the cast together here? Um, uh, you know, just the, um, just the, you know, the uh, tried and true process of uh, collecting ideas for people, working closely with Nina Gold, who was our casting director, and uh, us collaborating, throwing ideas, and um, just, it's, it's just that process of, um, of uh, you know, being inspired by the screenplay, and, the, and then the actor comes in, and, and then a lot of times you meet them, and you just know that they're right, and, 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 sometimes, and, and sometimes they read, and, and, that, and that is, um, and that works for you too. And um, yeah, it's, a, it's just that process. Lizzie, Lizzie Kaplan. Lizzie was Kaplan. Terrific. Yeah. In She's this fantastic. Too. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, what kind of research do you have to do, though, to play these kinds of characters? Did you do any special research into this since there was an element of truth to what you were doing here? Because the, the film was a throwback, that there was a, um, you know, with this romantic thriller aspect to it. I guess I'm trying to say it, it felt more um, fantasy than reality, I, and I mean that in a, in a good way, in a nice way. That um, so the 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 approach was more uh, really going on the ride, and, and it was about the execution of it all, which was completely foreign to the way we usually make films, and less about um, uh, I, I guess. Uh, the, Preparation I've had to do on, on other characters. What about for you, Marianne, in, in playing her? Uh, you know, she's a heartbreaking character, you know, particularly when you get to the end. Um, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a movie you don't want to know too much about before you go to see because there's so many 
twists and turns. I, you only want to know the basics, but when, you, when you're playing this French resistance person who may be something else. Uh, no, I didn't. Um, I, I mean, I didn't do researches that uh, certain movie, uh, certain movies require, um, but I needed to invent uh, her life, everything we don't know about her. Um, you and Brad and the rest of the cast have rehearsal time here. You've got great chemistry. Everybody here is completely believable and you have great chemistry on screen together. It's a very believable kind of story the way you're playing it out here. Did you have prep time before um, Robert started being a slave driver and getting this movie made? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, that's really amazing when you have this time. We worked for more than two weeks, I think. And, um, and, it's, and it's a great thing because you can, you know, see how uh, the other actor works and, uh, and just, um, you know, get to know each other. And uh, we had an amazing time with the writer, with uh, Grand King. Uh, Steve Knight and, and, and Bob uh, talking about the movie, um, about our feelings, about the, where we wanted to go. So, and we had dance lessons. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right? Well, it tells a lot about a person. <laughs> uh, really? How about the plane? I wanted to ask about the, uh, the, the Lysander plane that you had in this. Is that a real, is that an actual one? Because no, they, they were... They don't, no, there's, I think there's a, uh, maybe there's, a, there's a, a f I think the only flying ones are actually in Canada. Um, but that is a, um, you know, perfect replica that we had designed. And we, you know, we only actually made only one airplane for the whole movie. Um, and, and the one that Brad is uh, piloting, that's the one that is the replica. And uh, what did you learn to do the flying that kind of plane? I fly pretty well, don't I? Yeah, you do. <laughs> that was good. Any special prep for that? Yeah, special effects. <laughs> <laughs> all roads lead back to special effects they here. They do, it's all Could illusion. You turn it's on? all illusion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, guys, on a Thank terrific you. film. And um, it opens November 23rd, right? November 23rd.